Let's see how long it takes me to do this. For encounters, you're going to make an encounters website, an online portfolio. Since we can't do challenge of the mind, everything we do is going to be on this. Go to Google or wherever you go and find, some people call it the waffle, I call it the box of boxes, and click on Google Sites. Make sure you're using your school account. Mine likes to go off to other sites. And you're going to click on this plus sign down here in the right-hand corner. And that makes you a new website. For the title, you're going to put in your last name, not my last name, but your last name. And then you could put Encounters Site. I think that's a good name. Your page title, well, I certainly think Encounters would be a good title. And I'm also going to put below it, and if you notice when I hit Return, it changed my cursor size. That means it's changed my font size. And I'm going to put that little motto I like so much, non schoole sed vitae, not for school but for life. And then I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, yeah, that's kind of small. And at some point, I'll try to make it bigger. Why at some point? Because I don't know how to make it bigger right now. I could hit subheading maybe. Okay, that made it a little bit bigger. And I like it to be italics. Google Slides are easy to make things, but you can't always change stuff. You know, I can't just click this and say make it 16 font. Then I'm going to go over here to Pages. And you're going to make three pages. You've got the home page, but you're going to make three pages. And so down here at the bottom, I'm going to click the plus sign. And page one is going to be sixth grade. I'll make another page. Seventh grade. Or, why don't you put, just put sixth and seventh? Since we know it's, it's a great, what we know what it is. And I can go back here to sixth grade. And right here where it says sixth grade, I didn't need to click on it. I can click and... Maybe I'll right-click it. Oh, there you go. Just took a couple of clicks. I changed it to sixth. Now, that's what shows up here, but I can still change this, too. It's automatically putting it there, but I can make this say whatever I want to. And then we're going to make a page that says eighth grade, or eighth. And now, do you notice how they're not in order anymore? Well, I can just take this and move it up. Now I've got 6th, 7th, 8th, and up here it says 6th, 7th, 8th. And like I said, this, if I want to, I can put 8th grade. I can change this page to anything I want to change it to. Then later, you're going to take the 6th grade, for example, and the 8th graders may have more trouble with this because you weren't at WAMS and who knows where your stuff is. But these 6th graders... They can click these three dots and put add a subpage. And so this might be their biography, uh, their bio poem. And everybody wrote a bio poem. And then they could put another subpage. And in the sixth way, they made a personal collage. And on all these pages, this is where we're going to put the things that we've made. At your home page, up here, we're going to go off pages. We could go to themes, and we could use Aristotle. Oh, that's fancy. Diplomat. Vision. Level. There's different, only a handful, but we can also change colors. Uh, now it's got a little pinkness to it, some grayness to it some blueness to it. 
I can change some font styles. I only have three choices. How about slab? I can go up here to insert and I can add pictures. I can change the picture on the background. See where it says change image? I can select an image from my computer. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I could. I could go to my Google Drive. I could go to my albums. I can use stuff that they have. I can search for something. So let's say, um, well, I'll just type in school. And, you know, I could put a picture, and we'll just go with this one. I'll select it, and then I've got a new background. It looks kind of blurry to me, so I, I may not stick with that. I really don't like a blurry background. I could, this header type, it could be a, a large banner, a regular banner, just a title, boring. I think that's really the best one. It took away my picture. And then on this page, I can add things. I can use some pre-made layouts. I can add, you can play around with this. But I'm gonna use this layout. I'm gonna add a picture. I can get it from, I can upload it from my computer and there we go. My desktop. So here's this picture of me from a long time ago when I was on a sailboat. Now it's gotten kind of big. There we go. Well, let me see. I'm going to play around with it until it gets just the way I want it to. I can also use this cropping tool and And play around. Whoa, that's a little too much. I could zoom in there if I wanted to. But I'm going to play around and until uh, I'm happy with it. Then on this side, I'm going to write my biography. It'd be an autobiography, actually. But I'm going to write something about myself. All about Mr. Skipper. Now you notice it went to two lines. I can change the font size or just change that box size. Then I'm going to write my biography in here. When you're finished, there's two things you need to do. One, you need to click the publish button. And you'll see whatever you name it up here, that's going to be your site name. I'm going to hit publish. And then go up to the share thing. And I can't share this with myself, but, you, so you're, but you're going to share it with me. Some students get confused. They put iSkipper instead of LSkipper at GP Apps. You'll know you're doing the right thing when you see my little bald head show up. And then you hit done, and that's stage one.